Productivity is part and parcel of the existence of the human being. We were created to be productive. There can be no other reason as to why we are alive. And uh, the thing is that we need to find out where exactly our productivity is supposed to be channeled. And after we found out where our productivity in life is supposed to be channeled, we are supposed to be thoroughly productive in that particular area, in that particular course. But the question will be, how do we do that? How are we going to make ourselves as productive as possible in our life as we exist on the face of the earth? That's what I've been sharing in these episodes. And uh, today we're going to add one more thing. So stay tuned. Welcome to the Life Signatures Podcast with Lawrence Namale. Lawrence is a life coach, author, and keynote speaker who loves to tackle different topics on purpose, productivity, and resilience. His mission in life is to awaken all your boundless possibilities available in you. Life Signatures Podcast is dedicated to bring to reality every single person who knows that deep down in their gut, there's got to be more to life than this. And now, here is your host, Lawrence Namale. When everything else is kept constant, life is meant for productivity and for work. When I say that, I am having in mind the people who are living in adverse conditions, people who are living probably in war-torn countries, bombs are falling on them, left, right and center. The very first thing that they have to do is to make sure that they do survive the thing that they are going through. Or maybe that family where there is someone in the family that is adversely affected by some kind of sickness and they are bedridden. The response for that family immediately is to make sure that there is comfort and there is healing and that they have enough finances to cater for their patient. And that is what they are charged with at that moment in time. But you and I know that ideally that is not how life is supposed to be from the moment you are born to the moment that you die facing adversity after adversity after adversity. There is some kind of ideal when everything else is kept constant. Let's say that adversities are not necessarily there but you're having a conducive environment to grow, a conducive environment to mature where you're able to grow your potential to the utmost, to the fullest. And probably you're living in that kind of an environment where maybe there is no adversity around you and all you have around you is to develop your potential, to grow, to work, to be productive. The question would be those two questions that I've been asking in these episodes. Number one, where are you meant to be productive? And number two, now that you know where you're supposed to be productive, how best can you apply yourself so that you can be the most productive human being this world has ever seen? And we've said that we are unique in our own different ways and in our own uniqueness. In every aspect of our uniqueness, our call is to be the best, to be the most productive person in that particular area. And so we've been saying that this, the secret, the shortcut here for productivity is death. And we're not necessarily talking about death at the very end of life, but we're talking about daily death, the conscious death. Paul the Apostle, the man who turned his word upside down, he is known to have said these words. He said, I die daily. When you're talking about dying daily, there are several aspects of life that you have to put into consideration. The first thing is that you're surrendering 
to the fact that you are not the leader of the universe and so you only do that which is within your control and you become the best the second thing you do is that you pour out everything to that which is in your hands that which is in your calling to be productive and the third thing is that you're staying disciplined to a higher calling in other words you have comforts and coziness looking for you but instead of choosing to be comfortable and to be cozy you continuously apply yourself to things that are of productivity in terms of your health in terms of your growth in terms of your work and so on and i think high spirituality is not necessarily worship high spirituality is discipline to work and to be the most productive person that this world has been able to see and so in the episodes that have passed we've been talking about how exactly do you do this dying daily and uh, the first thing that we said is that you have an absolute certainty in the thing that you're supposed to do in other words you die to every other kind of calling so that you can do the call that is upon your life you die to the other kinds of pursuits the general pursuits of life basically are to make ends meet to put food on the table and so on but you die to those so that you can live to a life of absolute certainty in terms of dispensing the call that is upon your life the purpose of your life is to be useful to be productive to be distinctively productive to others and make sure that you're contributing to other people that is the first thing absolute certainty the second way that you're going to die daily is to be detached and we talked about detachment as being able to let the consequences care for themselves because you're not scared of those consequences but you are given to the process that you are applying yourself to productivity right here and right now because that is where the change matters that is where it counts that is where the contribution comes in so you stay detached to the process and then today i want us to look at one more thing that you can be able to do in terms of dying daily so that you can become the most productive person on the face of the earth and it's simply this it's what they call unconscious competence now unconscious competence is something that you already know it is something that your brain helps you a lot and it helps you a lot because you've conditioned yourself so so much that the act becomes an automatic act for example if you are always this person who wants to save power every time you get out of a room you want to flip the bulb off even when there are people in the room unconsciously you just want to do that sometimes when you get into the car you unconsciously put on the seat belt without even thinking if someone asked you what, what time you put on the seat belt you might not even be able to remember because you've been trained or you've trained yourself with that act until it becomes unconscious now this unconscious performance comes because you choose to die to some other things so that you can focus on this one thing so much so that it becomes something that is not a struggle something that is just a flow they normally call it being in the zone and you know being in the zone is something that is attributed to sportsmen and sportswomen when you talk about the biggest sports people on the face of the earth you're talking about Michael Jordan talk about LeBron James talking about uh, Kobe Bryant you're talking about Cristiano Ronaldo talking about Sachin Tendulkar you're talking about Venus Williams Serena Williams you're talking about all these big names you realize that they have died to other things to concentrate on this so that their performance is top notch continuously consistently over years it is not a one off thing 
They have died to all the other things to focus on one thing that their performance becomes continuous consistently over a long period of time. So the unconsciously competent individual is not a worry freak. They are not worried about this, worried about that, but they have focused themselves so much and they lose confidence in their ability to perform because they have been practicing and practicing and practicing until they become virtuosos in their crafts see they also know that where they can perform they will require help and they go for that particular help they are not grappling with the things that they cannot be able to do you know trying to be a master of everything and a, a jack of all trades and a master of none they know that there are some things that they cannot do so they delegate those to the people who are able to do them so they will not spend time agonizing over a difficult thing either they tackle it head on or they seek help to get it done so the unconscious competence is one of the is one of the most cherished things in terms of high end productivity if you wanted to be a high end productive person and you're dying to solve you've got to have this unconscious competence coming before you it is the same thing that mike martin luther king junior had when he was delivering his speeches when you listen to that man's speeches they are of unconscious competence hardly of course he was reading but the passion was always consistent the artistry was always consistent the poetry the prose was always consistent and that was because this man had become so unconsciously competent with what he was doing you know people normally think that the biggest speech that this man delivered was i have a dream but there are very many other speeches if you listen to this man that they were absolute masterpieces out there and they were being done out of unconscious competence why because he chose to die to every other thing so that he can concentrate on that which was before him at that moment in time so if you wanted to be a very highly productive person you need to look for unconscious competence and it's only going to come you cannot be unconsciously competent when you're meddling in very many other things you're going to be unconsciously competent when you die to as many things as possible to focus on few things that you can become a virtuoso in so great visionaries will tackle head on that which is on their plate but immediately they will seek help to get it done when they cannot be able to do it or to delegate it to some people who can be able to do it better than themselves and that's what counts every single day when you wake up you're looking for and unconsciously by the way you're looking for high end productivity you marvel at the way broadcasters do their stuff you marvel at the way entrepreneurs do their stuff you marvel at the way sports people do their stuff but those guys that you marvel at are doing it mostly because it's unconscious competence so let's start dying to as many things as possible and concentrate on practicing on that which we are passionate about that which is within our grasp that is which is within our control so that we can grow the muscle of unconscious competence with it that's how we are going to be as productive as we're supposed to be well until tomorrow when we're discussing something else think about that and bye bye A special shout out to my mentor Jeffrey Howard of Visionary Business University found at mastermindmentor.com who has graciously provided me with the soundtrack and the introductory track to this podcast. Thank you Jeff. Thank you for listening to Life Signatures Radio. If you enjoyed today's show, subscribe to Life Signatures Radio on iTunes, Stitcher, or visit our website at lifesignatures.libsyn.com. Life Signatures Radio, fresh clean and inspiring.